free basin, and these dudes hit me in the head with a pipe and took all my shit. And then I was sleeping in Tompkins Square Park in the rain, crying. And I went to the Hare Krishna Temple in Brooklyn. I said, if you don't let me stay here, I'm going to die. I need, I need to do this. And they let, and they let, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. Uh, and they let me stay. And little by little, every day I had to put my life back together. Piece by piece, I started training again. Uh, I got into bike riding, and bike messenger, and that got me physically fit. I started eating again. I mean, it got to the point, you know, I got my weight up in, in when I got locked up. I put on 35 pounds of muscle. I boxed, I lifted weights. And then when I got into crack, I was 135, 130 pounds. I'm walking around at 170 now. And people were like, yo, what the fuck happened to you? And I'm like, what, dude? I'm fucking ripped. And they're like, yeah, but I, I, I shouldn't be able to see your spleen, dude. Like, it was that type of illusion that, you know. So the same way, little by little, I slipped into addiction. Little by little, I had to climb out of it. And that's why the training and the writing and being around good, positive people, PMA is part of the process. Day by day, as they say. Day by day. <laughs> oh, 